Hey guys, this is uh, Code Draco, and uh, I'm bringing you another tutorial and this is the second episode of my Cinema 4D series. And uh, this one, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a basic text scene and how to render that all out. Actually, I'm probably not going to do render uh, rendering. I'm going to make a whole another render settings video, but I'm just going to show you a basic, uh, you know, how to do text scene and stuff, and uh, you know, just still image to send to over to you know Photoshop or whatever you're using, and just put it in there. Alright, so first of all I got just my basic lighting set up and if you don't, if you want some tips on lighting, just watch my uh, lighting tutorial video that I posted up earlier, or before, and uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of you have been complaining about how my mic sounds kind of bad, and that's just because um, it's actually a really good mic, but the problem is that, like, I, it's like my laptop mic, it's like, I, I'm not using like an external mic, it's like the integrated mic. So it, since the laptop, you know, it's like sitting like like on like on me, like on my lap. So like I'll like move around a little, like like you know, cause I'll like feel uncomfortable, so I like, move my feet, and then uh, it'll like uh, you know make a lot of noise because I'm doing that. So sorry about that, and you know I'll try to be more aware if that starts happening. But all right, let's start the tutorial because I'm already running kind of late. Well, not late, but yeah. All right, so first of all, let's set up. Just regular text. Let's go to MoGraph, Mo, <coughs> MoGraph up here, and go to Text Object. All right, let's go to Object. Uh, one second, and change the um, depth to. It really matters what you want. Let's just for sake of tool, let's put 90, maybe um, maybe 120. All right, and then let's align on the middle, just so it's in the middle screen. Let's uh, make the text. And then let's make the font, um, just any type of font. Alright, just simple font that I don't really use too much, but just simple, easy to use. And then, uh, alright, now let's just set up how we like. <sighs> simple. And basically, what you want to do is that, alright, what I do is that every single time I start, like, in, uh, Thing is, I'm gonna do this every almost every single tutorial. All right, I'll have it like this, and let's center the whole thing so it's gonna be at the center. Keep that the exact angle I want when I render. Maybe move it up a little. And this is how it this is exactly how I want it to look when I render. So what I want to do is go over to the lighting thing, or the exact angle I want to look when I render, not how I want it to look. But I'll go over to the lighting uh, tab, and I'll pick camera. And then now I have the camera set, I'll go to right click this, Cinema 40 tags, and go to protection. Now this will uh, keep it so I can't move it at all, well I'm outside of it right now, but if I go to camera, scene cameras, camera, I can't move this at all, I can't change anything, like, it, like it's like, oh, sorry. it's like unchangeable, everything, I can't zoom out if I want to, I can't see, if I'm pressing these, I can't do any of it. So this way it stays how it is, and then if I ever want to mess this up, I can just go to uh, editor camera. And now I can mess with everything I want, and then when I want to go back to render, it'll be in the right position. So, alright, let's go with this. So here we have our text. And uh, let's add some caps to it. Fillet caps. This is so simple. What you guys might want to understand is that on all my tutorials, they're going to be fairly advanced. So if you're new, just watch some other tutorials, because there's tons and tons of simple, basic tutorials. So, like, please don't ask, like, just, like, just, like, you know, basic questions, because there are those you can find in any other tutorial. Like, th this is, I'm trying to, you know, move on, not going to have to explain everything, just more, you know, advanced, you know, people that already understand the basics and stuff. So, um, here we just f add some fillet caps, and let's make some materials for it, or obviously the materials I already got on here. Um, I got a nice green material here, which I, it's Acres HD one that I edited. And then let's add, just add one of my chrome materials that I always have handy. Which I love using a lot. And then, alright. And now, my style is basically I'll add a color, and then usually I'll add like a col type of colored cap, a different color cap. And how you do that is that you just set up tags. Uh, I set up the green, or the main, like a secondary color, or the, you know, the main color in the back of the, uh, of the uh, material list right here. And at the top, I'll set up a tagged color. And the selection tag I add R1, which means it'll take the front caps. If I add it, it I can change it to R2, which will take the back caps. C1, as you can see, which will take the front side, or C2, which will take the back side. So yeah, 
now let's add arm one on this again and then what i'll do is i'll do basically like the simple beginners type of uh 3d just to add more like more effect more like depth to it i guess you'd say and i just uh up the caps by two uh lower the depth by about half press my uh, multiple views tool thing and then i'll go on to the I'll go to my top view and I'll just move this to the middle. So here we go. We got we got this now. What I'll usually add this is maybe like a black color. And you guys, if you see my work a lot, you'll usually see some like this. Actually, this font isn't really a good example. It's just that Davis, which is basic, which is one of my most used fonts. I like that one. And now let's render this out. Oh wait, do I have global illumination on this render settings? One second. Yeah, I press the render button. All right, yeah, let me take off global illumination. And anti-aliasing, just for a quick run, I'll take all that off. I'm doing a render settings video so really soon, so don't worry about that. If you want to know my render settings, go do that really soon. And as you can see, that's just a simple text scene. And if you want to set that up, go to camera scene cameras, and you got this. And then just press your full render button, and it'll render it out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I think I might, I don't know, I might do render settings for my next tutorial, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's coming soon. All right, bye.